Oh, oh, my ear almost popped. I yawned and it almost popped. Whitney Milam welcome to my channel as you might be able to tell by the sound of my voice yes I am a little bit sick um, we just got back from the UK I'm happy to be home yes I look a little tired we just got back last night which was the equivalent of maybe like 1 a.m. for me though it wasn't that late actually in the real world in this time zone so battling a cold I'm very tired so I've got about a quarter of my hearing at the moment. This one, nothing. Uh, this one is about half. That started on our plane ride back. The pressure happened and my ear still has not come back because I am battling something. So I just wanted you guys to know that this is not going to be back to the normal programming that I've been doing. Not just yet. So I believe every day from today until Friday I will have a different vlog for you. That is the plan. I'm hoping I can get it done. I'm hoping the sickness doesn't get worse. If it does, eh, vlogs will be spotty. But that's my plan for right now. And then next week, Monday, I will start back in on the actual weight loss journey piece of it. This journey is about being happy and being healthy and putting myself out there and experiencing life the way that I want to experience it. And so I do think that these vacation vlogs have a lot to do with that. It's a glimpse into how I experience the world right now as someone who is inhibited by my size and by my lack of fitness and all of those things. And I want to someday be able to compare this to how I live my life as a healthy, fit, well person and be able to see what the difference is between the two. So today's vlog is about when Todd and I went to the Fulham game in the UK. Soccer is absolutely huge in the UK and it was a big adjustment for Todd coming over here and having it not be as big of a deal. The majority of the world plays soccer with a level of passion that we don't have for any of our sports individually here. We're a very sports-centric country, but it's like if you combined our enthusiasm for football and baseball and basketball, if you combine that enthusiasm into one sport and all of it was focused towards soccer, like that is the level of enthusiasm that they have over there in and in most of the world. So Todd really wanted me to experience what that kind of a crowd atmosphere is like. And the atmosphere was just electric. It was so cool to see something like that firsthand. So Fulham plays at a place called Craven Cottage and the original stands and the cottage are still there. And the rest of the stadium is built onto that. It was added on later. So we went through the original building to get to our seats. What's interesting about a building that is built in the 1800s is that people were a lot smaller then. So these doorways are super tiny. It was like this narrow, I want to say. I don't know. It was, it was small. It was small. I knew it was going to be a problem as soon as Todd pointed it out to me. And I was like, okay, let's give it a try. Got through the door just fine like it was a tight squeeze but I got through the problem was there's a turnstile after it and my butt was not going to fit through this turnstile and so I gave it a try and I was like this is not happening and the lady was like oh no there's a door right over there these like two large doors that you could go in through if you needed to I was like oh thanks I'm gonna do that instead I wasn't that embarrassed because I realized yeah, I was too big. I couldn't fit through it. However, I'm going to be able to do it someday. I know I am. And it didn't define how I experienced the game. I just moved on from it. So we had a really great time. It was kind of a foregone conclusion that Tottenham was going to win. Um, but we were there for Fulham. On the tube ride over, I was standing holding the bar. And I looked down and there's a guy sitting in the seat next to me. And he was bald, 
shaved head and on the back of his head was a tattoo that had like a symbol like the rooster and Tottenham till I die tattooed on the back of his head like that's how serious this is to them <laughs> Tottenham till I die seemed like a pretty tough guy I told Todd that I was thinking about tapping him and asking if I could film the back of his head but didn't know if that was gonna be cool or not and I just didn't want to start anything especially because we were gonna go and support Fulham at the game this video again I'm going to try my hardest to get you guys a video every day Monday through Friday this week and then next week we'll be back to our normal weight loss check-in video um, and then we'll see what else I have in store for you guys if you like these travel vlogs make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below also remember to comment and subscribe to keep getting these updates from me thanks everyone bye